Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I've released iOS 26 Developer Beta 8 that I have here on my iPhone 16 Pro Max to show you all the new changes. So without further ado, let's jump in. Starting with the build number and the update size, on the 16 Pro Max it's 11.2 GB and the build number is 23A53308. And now let's take a look at the new features. I would like to start with the lock screen and I think Apple improved the performance of the depth effect. Previously it was struggling to work with my wallpapers but it seems to be working a lot better now and here are some of the examples I have. When you take a look here at this one it looks gorgeous and also here's another one. So as you see it's understanding the image so much better now with iOS 26 beta 8. And by the way, if you like any of the wallpapers you see now on the screen, they are available on my Patreon page and you'll find the download link in the description. The second change is related to the unlocking keypad animation. After the complete overhaul with beta 6, seems like Apple added a slight refinement to the animation and it looks more bouncy to me when I compare it with beta 6. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the two. Other than this, all the new changes are related to Apple apps and I will start with photos. When you go to collections and then tap the ellipses, you will see here that the first three options now have glyph icons, which wasn't the case before. The customize option is now called reorder. And when you go inside, the done button replaced with a tick Button. Moving to the memories, you will see some tweaks as well. When you play your memory like this, you will see that the button at the bottom is different. Instead of using a movie icon, it's now using a grid. Plus, we got a brand new feedback button. At the top right corner, we have smaller container for the two buttons at the top. Also, when you go to the grid view, as you see, now we have different buttons as well. And instead of showing a tick and a plus button, now we have plus and select and they are separated. And when you tap on select, this will allow you to share or delete multiple photos from your memory. So that's it with Apple Photos. Now let's talk about the mail app. And the first change you will notice here is the back arrow is no longer showing the mailbox name, but you can only see it under the word inbox. Previously, in one of the betas, changing the category used to show its name under the word inbox, which is no longer the case, but now you can see the number of unread messages instead. In Apple Music, we also got some minor tweaks related to the playlist. So when you go to library and then playlists and then tap and hold on any of the options, you will see that this menu is now different. First, the icons are at the top are black and instead of outlined, we got a brand new shuffle option grouped with the play button. The unpinned playlist and the add to playlist are now grouped together and the move to option is now called move to folder. In the camera app, I did notice a new gesture, but I'm not entirely sure if this is something new to beta 8 or we already have it for a while. But anyways, let me show it to you and you let me know in the comments if it's a new feature or not. Now when you tap on the camera mode, you can get quick access to the grid menu instead of tapping on the grid button at the top right corner, which is a lot easier. In the app store, we also got one new change. Now when you go to games or apps, at the top you will see a lot more filters when compared to the previous betas. And on the left, there is a screenshot from beta 6 to show you the difference between the two and as you see now I have much more things to choose from. And the last app we have is Apple Maps which also got some minor tweaks. When you open any listing you will notice here that the thumbs up button is now located in the floating pill. Also when you scroll down you will see that the ratings and the guides are now separated while in beta 6 Apple merged them together and now we are back again to the same old design with two separate categories. So these are all the new changes. Now let's talk about my experience with the performance and battery while filming this video. First, I didn't came across any major issues and the animations are very, very fluid and super fast. When you compare this to the first beta of iOS 26, you will be impressed on how fast is the performance now. And I would say that this is the first beta that makes a noticeable difference when it comes to the thermal management 
as my 16 Pro Max doesn't get as warm as the previous versions. But when it comes to the battery, it's not great. Because I lost about 7% in 54 minutes while filming this video, plus my phone doesn't have any SIM card inside, I'm only connected to Wi-Fi, and my brightness level is very low, so I think if I'm gonna use this phone normally, it will consume so much more battery when compared to iOS 18. But let's wait and see, maybe it needs some time to optimize the latest version. So please let me know in the comments what do you think about the battery life of Beta 8. So that's pretty much it for today. These are all the new changes in iOS 26 developer Beta 8. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.